In this lecture, we explain the control problem of robot manipulators and discuss the objectives, the constraints, and the control inputs and outputs. Robot manipulator control problems are classified into two main categories, regulation problem or position control problem and tracking problem or motion control problem. In the regulation problem, the desired location and orientation of the end effector denoted by B is given to us, and we want to control the robot such that the robot moves from an initial configuration A to the desired configuration B. In this case, only the desired configuration is important, and the robot can move on any trajectory that ends at the configuration B. In the tracking problem, a desired trajectory for the end effector is given, and we want to control the robot such that the end effector moves on the desired trajectory with a desired velocity. Consider the dynamical model of an n degree of freedom robot manipulator, which is mq double dot plus cq dot plus g equals tau. The objective in the regulation or position control problem is to find the vector of joint torques tau such that the end effector converges to the desired position B. Using the inverse kinematics, we can find the joint coordinates that correspond to the desired end effector position. We denote the vector of the desired joint coordinates by Q sub D, which in this example is a two-dimensional vector. Then the objective is to find the vector tau such that the joint coordinates q converge to the desired joint coordinates q sub d as time goes to infinity. In the tracking or motion control problem, the objective is to find the vector tau such that q of t follows the time varying trajectory of q sub d of t. Note that the vector of the desired joint coordinates in the motion control problem is a time varying vector. So the desired velocity of each joint can be obtained by taking the derivative of the desired trajectory of the joint. It should be noted that the inverse kinematics may have no solutions. For example, the mechanical structure of the robot may not allow the end effector to go to any desired position or orientation. For instance, for this two degree of freedom robot, no joint angles Q1 and Q2 can make the end effector go to the desired configuration C. A typical approach to analyze the stability of a nonlinear system or to design a controller for a nonlinear system is to first rewrite the closed loop system such that the origin is an equilibrium point of the system and then analyze the stability of the origin or design a controller such that the origin is for example asymptotically stable. For such purposes, it's convenient to define a joint position error vector, or simply the position error as q tilde of t equals q sub d of t minus q of t. The control objective is to find the vector tau such that the limit of q tilde of t when t converges to infinity equals zero. Note that for the position control problem, the vector q sub d is constant, but it's a time varying vector for the motion control problem. For an n degree of freedom robot manipulator, the dynamical model is in this form, where the vector q is an n d vector. The state equations of the system can be written in this form. Note that the matrix M is a positive definite matrix and therefore is invertible. This system has two n state variables. These equations can also be written in terms of the state vectors q tilde and q tilde dots. Then we say that the control objective is achieved if, for example, the origin of the closed loop system is asymptotically stable, which means q tilde and q tilde dots equal zero is an asymptotically stable equilibrium. In summary, in the problem of robot manipulator control, we aim to find the vector tau such that the limit of q tilde of t when t goes to infinity equals zero. 
In general, the control law can be a function of Q and its derivatives, Q, D, and its derivatives, and the matrices M of Q and C of Q and Q dots and the vector G of Q. For practical purposes, it's desirable that the controller doesn't depend on the joint acceleration. So it's usually assumed that the controller doesn't use Q double dots. The block diagram of the control system is shown in this figure. We will explain in the next video how the controller block can be designed so that the control objective is satisfied.